Alrighty, let's play this in full first. There are two clips. Standing in front of a boy. Asking him to love her. Cool. And then the other one is this guy here. There's no sound on this one. And that one. All right, let's go back to this one. I think overall for uh, both shots, there's a feeling of kind of a slow motion effect. I know it's it's tricky because it's emotional, so you don't want crazy snappy head turns and snappy gestures and whatever, but it just there's a feeling of even on this standing. Just mechanics wise, one thing that strikes me is that I think you could have an implied step forward. Just something there so that it doesn't have that this arm goes forward, this arm goes back there. Kind of twin. It makes it kind of a weirdly puppety. Like everything is fairly like this. I like this. I mean, I like that they're coming together at the end, but I think you could on this have her, I mean, you could potentially have her further back and then take a step so that she ends up here. If that's easier. But it, even though it's a profile view, don't forget side to side, as in the character takes side to side steps and weight shifts, even though it goes away from us, it gives us a bit more dimension. And watch out for something like this where the head feels either you, you're countering the head as the chest goes forward or it's a head control where it's globally just staying there. It gives it also a bit of a, it's not an extreme IK head, but it also makes it just a bit unnatural. Standing in front of a boy. I am a fan of grabbing the hand off screen and bringing it up. I like the poses. This might be rotated a bit much for him. He might have to bring it back down a bit towards us. I do like this. I like generally I like the idea and I'm a massive fan of the end here. Let me go. If it lets me play. Hold on. My player is funky. It is funky. Hold on. This I like a lot when they get together and she has that reaction in her face and him as well. This I'm a big fan that even though the line is over that there's this connection and like I like this section a lot. This is great. That's fine too. Like all of that is great. To me, it's more the timing and the movements. Standing in front of a boy. Asking. Once you get to here, asking him to love her. It's a bit more tender. That's okay. But one of the things you can't forget is that when she says something, asking him to. Asking her, like there's no, even though it doesn't have to be massive, but it's going to be some jaw movement and head accent for asking her that you get a bit of a side tilt. Right now, it just feels like things are moving a bit slowly and smoothly and there's audio playing kind of in the background. I don't quite feel like the characters are saying the lines in terms of, of how the lines are affecting, you know, their movements and with the head and everything. Asking him to love her. So that's a, it's a bit funky through there. Standing in front of a boy. Even something like this, where the bling. Standing in front of a boy. It's all very, very slow and and spliny to some degree. Asking him to love her. Or something like this, where he goes forward, he brings out his arm, but you have to make sure that also the chest is somewhat involved, that there's a little bit of rotation towards us. As that arm goes forward, it all feels a bit separated from the shoulder and the arm on. And then after this ends, when that arm is done, then the head goes up. So watch this, Asking arm goes up to love her. and head goes up. And then suddenly the body goes forward. And this feels just more like a translate and it doesn't feel like he is taking a step. It's that's gonna affect the hips, that's gonna affect the chest. He might bring up the head, the head forward. So I think overall, overall, I like the idea a lot and I'm a massive fan of this. Um, it just feels like there's an overall smoothness to the movements where you can add a bit more life to it and I understand that again it's a tender moment you don't want to go crazy but still look at moments where and especially during the lip sync on her where you can really marry the head movements and chest movements to to the words so it feels like the character is saying those lines now for this one it's kind of the same there's no audio there but the main thing is that again as 
soft and tender as this is going to be, I think you want to make sure that we really feel that the fingers are on. This feels just like it's a, it's a pose where that hand just kind of rotates and translates down. But I don't feel that there is pressure, not that, that he's pushing on her face, but you want pressure feeling that, you know, the hand is on that, on that cheek and that the fingers wrap around. And then as you go down, you would avoid intersections through there and you would really feel how the fingers go around the ear and around the the cheek and then the jaw side, the bone, the, the jawline. Even especially through here, that thumb could then come up here for more pressure. And then as you shake, definitely the contact point shouldn't be so loose through something like this. So that's kind of my reaction there. And on him, you got the things like separate shoulder moves where just the mechanics again feel a bit overall soft and not quite connected. Like this feels very spliny and almost slow motion-y. And you definitely want to make your, your uh, switch your eyes to linear keys and not spline. And you know, he will be darting around, staring a little bit, darting around more. It's just all a bit soft, especially during those darts. That, that gives it that slow motion effect too. This uh, framing wise, I will probably go to something that's a bit more like that so we don't cut him off right there. This, it's a bit more comfortable in the framing. Now there I say this is also a bit overused, that dramatic. I mean, you might as well zoom out with the camera and then throughout the shot it goes, no, and goes away from us. You might as well go big or go home. Um, and the same thing for the mechanics here where things are just a bit, hold on, let me just go back in there, where things feel just a bit, you know, it's like it's a one axis move back. There's not that much complexity there with a bit of an IK arm as that arm stretches on the way back. There's no influence on the hips, on the legs. Might, this might just be, you know, a rough start. But as you continue on, there needs to be more influence on with the hair and the neck going out into the shoulder, into the chest, which can influence this. And she might roll, he might reduce the grip. So she might roll off that, not roll off, but kind of you know, lean down to his knee, and that's going to affect the leg. But again, his massive move back is going to affect all of the rest of the body. And you might also want to go from this to like a twist over where he's maybe his head is like this, but more like that. You give it a more overall move from here to here. So I will just look at the overall mechanics. But even this feels like here's a key, here's a key, and there's no, there's no specific texture to the timing where he might just let go and then oh, inhale and then oh, exhale into this. And as he yells, you want to feel the force and maybe some trembling. Um, so it just kind of depends on how far you want to go with this or how far you are with this. But overall for both shots, they, they kind of feel um, just kind of soft and slow motion, -y, if that makes sense. All right. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.